can see that Shah Alam is trying to take football, a community football, to the next level. Telango Champions League is something huge. Although it is called uh, Amateur League, but I don't feel it's amateur, any amateur. SEL is one of the community outreach programs that we're working on. And the idea is we only identify, we only invite the champions. Uh, and the objective is to, I guess, unite the different leagues around Selangor. And secondly, to put all the best talents uh, community has uh, under one platform. So, why football? Why are we here at Selangor Champions League? Well, we heard about uh, Selangor Champions League, which is basically a grassroots competition. We thought it was very interesting how it actually galvanizes on the existing footballing activities that are already happening within different communities in different areas. So uh, this, we need this grassroots representation in Malaysian football, so we thought we'd drop by and support and just watch a match. In the 60s and 70s, the amateur scene of football in Malaysia was quite big. At that time, a lot of national footballers and national heroes actually came from the amateur clubs or the amateur scene. However, unfortunately, when Malaysia turned professional, the amateur scene quite kind of died. And ever since, it's not been in its glory days lah, like before. And I think Tuanku feels the importance of revitalizing uh, the amateur scene to its glory days before. Hence why he initiated Selangor Champions League and under Selangor Champions League, I'm the project director and the idea is we only identify, we only invite the champions uh, and the objective is to, I guess, unite the different leagues around Selangor and secondly, to put all the best talents the uh, community has uh, under one platform uh, so that it will be easier for scouts, for the community to identify or find out new players who, are, who have great talent in football. Selangor Champions League started as a community thing. Uh, they asked uh, social football teams and uh, community football teams and what they wanted. And at the end of it, uh, they want like a Champions League just to celebrate football and uh, community football, social football and all. And since then, uh, the inaugural year last year, since then it has progressed to, to something more amateur. Uh, so I think uh, going forward, Selangor Champions League in terms of the publicity and all, it highlights the emphasis of amateur football. Lah. I think he knows, uh, I think Tuanku knows uh, the problem is systemic. So the, currently the current football pyramid is inverted. So we are a top heavy uh, football society compared to other leagues in uh, Europe and all over the world. Uh, meaning that we are so heavily emphasized on state teams. Uh, we're not very, uh, we haven't been uh, talking about the foundations like uh, community football teams, amateur teams. So it's very top heavy. I think, I think for starters, uh it's mostly the system. Whenever you ask anyone, it's the system of how Malaysian football is run. Right now, I think there's a problem with how we streamline uh, sourcing footballing talents. I think what Slago Champions League does is that it reverses that model and it expands uh, the potential and possibility. So, say for example, if I want to organize a league in Malaysia, I don't have to just restrict myself to competitions between states anymore. I can also look into having players from specifically an area like Shah Alam or Subang or Puchong or Ampang or even in other states, you know, from Kuantan, uh, other areas to come together and compete at national level. What I can see clearly is that uh, the organizer is putting a lot of effort in uh, trying to create uh, awareness among the amateur football fans in Klang Valley which is why you see a lot of uh, live coverages even uh, the summary reports are available on a local newspaper so yeah that goes to show they, they are trying to create this kind of uh, awareness and possibly uh, other state leagues will emulate what they are doing um, in Malaysia, there's, there's a lot of people working on football. You know, we've got the highest level at national level, we've got the state level. Uh, but how we see ourselves is we want to be a force or a party that complements whatever that's out there being run by other people. Um, we see that community is a huge gap that no one's working on. And yes, we want to work on that. But we understand that it is important to prioritise and also not be selfish, not be competitive, but instead be collaborative. 
Whereas how, what we do in, in community, the gap left in community should complement or should be in line with whatever that's happening at national and state level. Um, change has to be done not only at organiser level but also at player level, at management level, at referee level and you know, development can only be holistic or uh, com comprehensive if everyone in the football ecosystem or industry plays their role well. Uh, Tuanku uh, saw that this year is a perfect year to do finals at Shah Alam Stadium. I think uh, the idea is to celebrate football. Uh, the idea is to bring Shah Alam Stadium closer to the people of Selangor. And I think there will be an important announcement as well during on that day where FML, FMLLP or FAM will announce that the winner for Champions League will get a place in FA Cup, the Malaysian FA Cup. So that's a huge, huge achievement for community football. I guess, I guess our role in, in SL or whatever that we're doing here is not to show or to prove some to other people that we're doing the right thing and they are doing the wrong thing or you know, that's not how things are done, it's supposed to be done. It's not something that can happen only through us, uh, but it instead requires everyone to be involved. And hopefully, you know, by us trying to do a good job at it, trying to create impact at it, it would you know, kind of set up a good example uh, to, to others to follow, to others to see what we're trying to do is actually for the benefit of the bigger picture. Change itself takes a long time to, to happen. Um, yes, it's been hard, but it's been rewarding and fulfilling as well because as we see progress and growth, we, we feel fulfilled that what we're doing is, is getting, is fruit, getting bearing the fruits or bearing the results. Lah. Hopefully by complementing the efforts made by other parties in football, uh, generations of missions can enjoy a better future in football.